Hello. Take a seat. It is nice to see you. My name is Lee and I'm the medical assistant who's going to be gathering your history and sort of figuring out what brought you in today. Do you mind confirming um, your first and last name and date of birth? Alright, very good. And so what's bringing you in today to see the PA? For the past couple days you've had like a irritation or burning when you pee? Okay. It just feels kind of uncomfortable in the midsection. Gotcha. Okay. Any abnormal discharge at all? No. This is the first time something like that has happened to you. Don't stress it. We'll figure it out for sure. Do you feel like you urinate more frequently at all? You do. And you kind of just quickly have to go. Okay. All right. You even feel like you've noticed some blood. Okay. And are you on your menstrual cycle? When was the first day of your last menstrual period? About a couple weeks ago. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And um, are you sexually active? New partner? You use protection or no? Kind of on and off. Okay. Well, we appreciate your honesty. Oh, for sure. Yep. I have um, in the system that you have no known medical conditions. Would that be accurate? Awesome. Any new surgeries? Social drinker, non smoker. Okay. Uh, family history looks like a paternal grandmother that had breast cancer. Okay. All right. And no previous history of ever acquiring any form of STIs, right? Gotcha. Okay. So all of that is taken care of. So what I'm going to do now, are you having any severe back pain, fever, chills? Maybe a little bit of back pain, but no fever that you've noticed. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to get your vital signs. I'm, I just spilled sanitizer all over myself. Don't mind me. Okay. Well, I'm going to get your vital signs, as I was saying. And then, um, you know, Leanna, the PA, is probably going to want to do a pelvic exam, if that's okay. And we'll definitely want to collect a urine sample as well. You don't have to pee right now. That's okay. Um, we'll do the pelvic exam first, and then maybe at that point you'll want to use the bathroom. Better plan. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's get your blood pressure first. Do you want me to use the same arm that I normally do? Okay. We'll do. So just going to put this around your arm. It's no one's favorite place to be, it's super stressful, but we will explain all of the findings to you and I assure you it's probably something that's a bit more common than you anticipate. Mm -hmm. Alright, one second. Blood pressure is good, which is great. I'm going to take this off of you. Right. Let's put this back in the case here. We'll get a temperature. Just make sure you don't have a low-grade fever. And then I will get you all set up for the exam. We'll sort of explain what we are probably going to plan for today. Oh yeah, you know I'll always give you the sneak peek before she comes in. Do a temperature check. <laughs> How was your Christmas? Good, good. Yes, mine was good. Thank you so much for asking.
have you already thought of New Year's resolutions? Maybe that's a me problem, I don't know. Lift your tongue. Temperature is good, so no fever. It's exactly what we want to see. All right, so we are going to ask you, uh, we'll do pelvic exam first. So we'll have you get undressed, waist down. I will leave this blanket on the table there. Of course, everything top-wise stays on. As far as the exam, are you okay with an internal assessment with the speculum? Awesome. And you know, for us, the big things is we just have to rule out vaginal versus urinary type infection, right? So um, we'll first rule out vaginal. Um, if she sees any discharge or anything like that, especially since you've had a new partner, we may want to do some STI screening if that works with you. Whenever someone comes in with new onset burning with urination, we, it's always a good idea to rule that out. Um, and then afterwards, she'll probably ask you to leave a, a urine sample and then we'll kind of be back in to reconvene and talk about the results. Yes, don't you worry. We'll walk you through it step by step. Sally, the speculum is here for you, so I'll make sure she's accessible during your pelvic exam. And then, yeah, and then Leanna, the PA, will be in, okay? Awesome. Let me just put in your vitals here. All right, well, I am gonna give you some privacy. Like I said, undress waist down only. She may wanna press on your belly and back, but otherwise it'll be a pretty straightforward exam. You know I am always here for you. If you need anything, you let me know. Otherwise, Leanna the PA will be in. Absolutely my pleasure, good luck to you. I'm coming in. Hi. You're doing okay. I know this is the last place you want to be. As you probably may remember, my name is Leanna and I'm the PA that's going to do your evaluation today. Um, Lee, the medical assistant, kind of gave me the history the past few days, kind of a burning irritation with urination. You notice blood in the urine, but you're not on your cycle. You feel like you've been using the bathroom a bit more. Okay, but no fever, no chills. Okay. Um, no nausea or vomiting. Okay. All right, so I am just going to do an exam of your abdomen area, if that's okay. I'm just going to press on all four quadrants, do some percussions, and then I'm going to want to tap on your back a little bit too on each flank side. Cool. Okay. So you're just going to feel my hands on your belly here. I'm sorry if it's ticklish at all. Let me kind of move this a little more. Any pain when I press? Good. All right. No pain? Good. A little bit of tenderness right in that area there in the middle. Okay. But it's not radiating to one side versus the other. Kind of like a full. Okay. All right. Just going to do some percussion. a little bit to this side. I'm going to tap on your lower back here. Pain? Good. Pain. You let me know if there's any discomfort. Nothing? Okay, I'm going to make my way to the other side to do the same thing on your other lower back side, okay? All right. right. going to go on to your side there a little bit. Perfect. So that's a very good sign. We're sort of ruling out a kidney infection when we do that. All right. I know you haven't noticed a lot of discharge or anything, but we're going to get you set up for a pelvic exam. I'm going to want you to scoot your bottom all the way to the edge. You're literally going to feel like you're hanging off, and that's how you know you're in the right spot. 
and then we'll take a look on the inside. If I notice any discharge, it's always a good idea for us to get STI screening if that's okay with you. And then after the pelvic, we'll have you leave that urine sample. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's get you situated for the pelvic. Alrighty, it looks like you're in perfect position. I'm going to start just with an external assessment, and I will let you know when we use the speculum, okay? Awesome. So you are going to feel my hands here on both sides. You let me know if you get too uncomfortable. Just kind of looking each side here, making sure I don't see any new lesions. That could maybe explain the burning. Doesn't look too swollen, which is good. Next part here is the internal assessment with the speculum. I'm gonna run it under some warm water and then we'll get that going for you. By the way, how can I forget? Sally's for you. <laughs> All right, so squeeze onto Sally as much as you need. You're gonna feel, again, my hands are on the outside. Internal pressure here. I am seeing just a little bit of discharge, so we're gonna swab that. was collected. Alright, we're doing okay, right? Okay, I'm gonna take the speculum out. We've seen what we need to. part is going to be a manual exam with my fingers and I'm really assessing for cervical motion tenderness, okay? Okay, of course we'll put some lubricant. Alright, last part here. No pain here, okay? You've got that pressure and that fullness there, okay? Moving it to this side, nothing there. Okay. All right, well, let me cover you up here. I'm actually gonna grab you a paper towel. In case you feel a little bit bleeding, I'm just, you're just gonna feel this on the outside. Just to kind of clean up the area here. I apologize for all the lube. Okay, excellent. So, the next step is, of course, I'm gonna give you some privacy. I'm gonna have you get dressed. And then what I need to do is I need you to cut, um, leave me a urine sample. Yes, we need to test your urine to see if there is what we call a urinary tract infection or infection of the bladder. Based off your assessment, we sort of ruled out infection of the kidneys, which is great. Um, but we definitely wanna see how this comes out. So you're gonna end up leaving me the sample, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little uh, test strip here, and I'm gonna dip your urine, and then that test strip is gonna tell me if there's anything suggestive of a UTI, like leukocytes, nitrates, blood, and then um, you know once we get that result back, we'll know. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm gonna give you um, some privacy. That cup will be for you. And then you're gonna come in with your cup and then we'll dip it and we'll sort of talk about the results. Absolutely, my pleasure. Let's get this figured out for you, okay? So I'm gonna give you some privacy. No problem. All right, coming back in. That is your urine sample, right? Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this test strip here We just kind of have to wait a few seconds to see how it came out. And just as suspected, it's looking like a urinary tract infection. 
You've never had one before? No problem. Um, since this was a high suspicion on my list, I did print out some education forms for you. So let's sort of talk about it, okay? And everything I talk about, you're gonna get the handheld version of in case you forget anything, okay? Yes, so with urinary tract infections, really common symptoms include burning with urination, pelvic fullness or discomfort, urinary frequency or you go to the bathroom a lot, or sometimes you have like that urgency where you have to go now. Um, and some people will even notice blood in their urine. Now what we have to figure out, of course, is ruling out a kidney infection because that's something you'd wanna go to the hospital for. Severe back pain, fever, chills. Um, and that's not something you're currently experiencing, which is great. Um, so a lot of times, you know, through that urinalysis that we did, we can tell if you have a UTI, but of course I'm going to send it out to the lab just to do like a medication workup to make sure that the antibiotic I give you today, um, to make sure that your infection is susceptible to that and not resistant, you know what I mean? Yes, so they're uh, commonly treated with antibiotics, usually three to seven days, depending on which antibiotic we choose. Do you have any allergies at all? No? Okay, good. Now, a big question for people is why they get UTIs a lot. And so I usually recommend, if you're not doing so already, increasing your hydration, at least 64 ounces of water a day. Always when you use the bathroom, you wipe front to back, not back to front. Anytime you have intercourse, you want to make sure you pee always after. Even if you don't feel like you have to go, it's always best to try um, because really it's just a bacteria, you know, accumulation. So you want to pee straight after intercourse as well. Yes, yeah. And there are some like, types of birth control, like spermicides or like those contraceptive gels. Um, they can actually increase your risk for UTIs. So being wary of like what goes around the vaginal urethral area. Yes, does all of that make sense? Good, I love that for you. And so what I am gonna do though, is I am gonna write you a script um, for an antibiotic. Let me get that going here. You'll take it to your pharmacy and then you should be taken care of there. Now, because you have a new partner, we are just gonna screen um, that swab for gonorrhea and chlamydia just to be completely sure. Okay, yeah, just wanted to run that by you so we're on the same page. But as of right now, I'm definitely suspecting just a UTI. Yes, yeah, they are one of the most common reasons people come into the clinic, so trust me, it is not just you. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, this script is for you. Of course, if any sudden changes, any kidney infection precautions that we reviewed, you go to the hospital, but you should be feeling a lot better once you've picked up the script today. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm glad I could be of help. As always, it was nice seeing you. If you need anything or if you have any other concerns, you please let me know. Absolutely, my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, well then you're all set. The girls will see you at checkout. Of course. See ya.